know, everybody knows this is a hypocritical nation. Well, they're, they're not tolerant of everything. Everybody is. It's a very is. hypocritical nation. Actually, I always say that hypocrisy is liberty. <laughs> You know, you're saying that to white folks, they get mad at you. Hypocrisy, liberty? Yeah. <laughs> I've been saying that to them, they be getting mad, man. I saw that the Democrats are running shit. They claim to be liberals. Right, right. And what does liberal mean? We just do whatever the hell you want to do. Yeah. That's what it means. But you know, most of the Obama people don't support the Bible. You know that, right? Hell no, they don't support the Bible. They're kind of anti-religion altogether. Hell yeah, they're anti-religion. Or anti-Bible, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what Obama is, but I'm tired of it. That's why all black people vote <laughs> Democrat. Most of them. Not well, all. Damn near all of them. I know, you might as well say all of them. You know, you know, us. you know the uh, majority of the <laughs> You know the uh, KKK was formed by Democrats. Really? Yep. In what year? I was just researching this today. What? In what year? It's like in it? the 1800s. Oh, really? Late 1800s. Late after, 1800s. It was after the Civil War. It, it was formed by Democrats. Oh, don't you know? Uh, you know who Lyndon B. Johnson is, don't you? Former president. Right. He's the president after after Kennedy got shot. He became president. And he was the one president during the civil rights movement, right? All right. He's the one uh, the so-called gave uh, blacks all kind of rights or whatever. But he, you know, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson, he's famous for making a quote. He said, I'll have these niggers voting d Democrat for the next 200 years. <laughs> Is that's, that right? Yeah, that's what he said. Was that while he was president? <laughs> while he was president, he said that. And he said the N word while he was president. He said it. You, you can, he said it on TV. Really? Hey, but he, he either said nigger or negro. He usually so he said didn't negro. Say negro. No, negro. Usually said negros and niggers. That's how the really? country down south. Yeah. Well, that's you know worse than that one lady. That's, that's worse than Paula Dean. I'll give you another. You know who Robert Byrd was? He was the longest serving senator in U.S. history. He's a Democrat for West Virginia. He just died in 2010. He's a member of the KKK. Oh, really? Longest serving senator ever and a Democrat. Lifelong Democrat. Like no member of the KKK. They said Clinton used to rally with the KKK. Oh, hold KKK. up. Yeah, sure Black, well, look, look, there's another one. Black people love Martin Luther King, right? What party was he? Republican. He's a Republican. So we live in bizarre world. His whole life? Even when he got yeah. shot? Yeah, Are you sure about that? Go look it up. <laughs> I can tell people that have had work that he was a re Republican. Yes. Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. Yeah, we know he was a Republican. So it's just, a, we live in backwards land. <laughs> but I mean, Republicans are full of shit too. Democrats are full of shit and Republicans are full of shit. I'm just showing people are retarded. They don't, they, they don't know shit. Black people, they're real retarded. They, I mean, they just lifelong Democrat no matter what. They just get on the vote about... Just right. Democrat, 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 Democrat. We got some Republicans that way too, but um, most black people vote Democrat. That's Over all of us. Just like Lyndon B. Johnson said, man. And it was, it was because of those Democrats too that they, they broke up their family. Because Lyndon B. Johnson was president. He came out with all, uh, all these new welfare programs that gave uh, black people money. But if a woman wanted to get any kind of benefits from the government, it's still, to, it's still in effect today. If a woman wanted to get benefits from the government, they're not allowed to have a man in the house. They want to get Section 8 housing, no man's allowed to be in the house. They have to be single. They got to prove that they're being independent. Yeah. So they're not, not going to help out a, a family. The government ain't going to help out a family that has, you know, a husband and a wife. And they're not going to give, they're not going to give a, a husband and a wife a Section 8 housing. You know, which right. would be the, if you want to help somebody, that's who you should help. Is the uh, family that's intact, not a horse woman. Oh, look, look, well, look, 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 check this out. My mom works at this church. You've been, you live downtown, right? There's a church on the corner of Broad. Why are you going to tell What's on Broad and, uh, I forget where the street. It's a Methodist church, big ass church. Homeless, pe homeless people eat there all the time. They Western Hill, uh, East Broad. Yeah, well, they feed the homeless people there. All right. Right? It's, it's where everybody go get their meals. But they got a program there where they give women a place to live, a free place to live for two years straight. That's what my mom, she she watches over these girls. But they only let women live there. Only, the only way you can get in there is if you're a, a woman with a child, but no, and no men are allowed in there. If they get caught with a man, they get kicked out. So a, a woman by herself can't get in there. she got to have a child. Well, yeah, but she has to have a child, meaning she was a hoe, 
and uh, you know, she probably left her. She was a prior a hoe committed adultery. That means she was a hoe. That's Definitely. what it means. No, it that is what it means. It this is all about design, man. They they only gonna help the woman, and that's gonna help the man, and that's not gonna help the whole family. That's that's not the goal. The goal is to break up the family. Better different society to be to help lift up a man. Yeah. You know I mean, I mean, what's the strength of the nation? Historically, men don't women. need help, man. It's the women. You know, historically. But if, the whole thing is though that that women rights things that never happen. Women ain't supposed to have no rights at all. Women no. is women. Are, women are actually property. Yeah. Yeah, I got a script in North Ecclesiastes 36 and 24. I mean, actually, we should read that, but we should read that whole chapter. But yeah, read it, 3624. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 36 and 24. He that getteth a wife, begetteth a possession. That's in the Bible. He that gives a wife, begetteth a possession. No, I, forgot, I forgot, you follow the Bible word for word. Yeah, yeah. Hold up, but when you, when you have a woman, what do you say? You say, hey, that's my bitch. That's yours, that's yours. It ain't somebody else's, right? My bitch. You gonna share your woman with someone else? My bitch. That's your woman. That's your property. That's oh, my hold up. You know what the word husband means? The word husband. The word husband, you break it down, it's two words. Hus comes from the beginning, hus, H U S. Wait, us banding together? H husband. Well, yeah, kind of listen. Hus comes from the word house. And uh, band comes from the word bond. Or band. Band and bond mean the same thing. So it means the, the, the husband is the leader of the house, and everything in that house is bonded to him. Can you zoom in on that? It looks like a plane. Or yeah, it might be it. Yeah, it's just a plane or something. It does look weird though, don't it? It's probably a different kind of plane. You got a bunch of seagulls up there too. I don't know where the hell them birds coming from. Homosexuals everywhere. Plane Cause you know drones are flying over America now. Yeah, I heard basis. about that, yeah. They're flying out on regular basis. Now they don't gave civilian rights to get drones. Say what? Civilians. Regular people can get rich people can buy it. Like um <laughs> yeah, right. Or um the companies like well, you know, just police departments, security firms, you know. thing you guys predicted was supposed to happen and never happened. What? Something about, I don't know, putting the... the RFID chip? Something, yeah. Well, it's just something just... before that. The world's supposed to come to an end and you never come to an end. <laughs> Aren't you part paranoid? Well, he never just gave you a date well, when anything was going to happen. You mean to tell me that you ain't paranoid? I mean, the black man is all... We, you know it's a fact that we've always been sport to these devils. I'm not paranoid. I mean, Why I don't want to be tortured, but I ain't paranoid of death or nothing. Shit, you ain't worried about these motherfuckers coming and lynch your ass? Really? Man, shit. Oh. It's actually, uh, they ain't talking about, yeah, black people, they in the world of hurt. They, uh, they coming down on black people right now. Like a motherfucker. To be honest with you, I just see them coming from the Israel period. Oh, yeah, Israel period. They ain't just coming niggas, man. Well, well, they started with the black people, though, because like I said, because the black people, they was the first ones who they, they, who they targeted, like during the civil rights movement. The civil rights movement was all about breaking up the black family. That's what it's all about. Get in there, get them voting Democrat, get them to break up the black family. You know what I'm saying? Destroy that black man. Get, get the man out of the house. You mean the civil rights movement was about destroying the black family? Well, that's what that's what the government turned it into. That's what Lyndon B. Johnson did with it. Every, it was like before before the civil rights movement, I think it was something like 90% uh, of black people had Excuse me. Ninety percent of black children were born into a into a regular family. A mother, and a, a, you know, say a, a mom and a dad, husband and a wife. Yeah, this time the black community had more stability. Period. Did they, you they, never heard of Black Wall Street? Yeah, Black Wall Street. That was in Oklahoma, Street, wasn't it? Just like Wall Street in yeah. New York City. There was a Black Wall Street. They burned that shit to the ground. It was extremely successful. Yeah. And what year was this? This was uh all through the 
early 1900s. We can Google it if you want to Google right. it. I think that was like 1930s. Black Wall Street, Google Black Wall Street. And it, let, you Even know, a Harlem, do it. you can look at Harlem, New now York. Let me, it up. let me do it. They oh, yeah, Harlem, New York, yeah. Harlem used to be nice. Shit, Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, Columbus used to be nice. The black areas down there, what up? Mount Ooh. Vernon. Yeah, Mount Vernon. Yeah. Because those were built for white people, basically. Nah, oh, man. Look, those, those were never black. You, you know, before the Civil <laughs> Rights Movement, the uh, before all that se uh, desegregation and all that, black people had a, uh, had a, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? They had, they had lower divorce rates than white people. M more white people got divorced than black people before the civil rights. Yeah. Before they started breaking up the families. That's what it's all, it all goes down to the family. If you ain't got a, if, a, if you're a young child and if you ain't raised by a mother and a father teaching you this word, you gonna be all fucked up, man. Now you got a bunch of animals, wild animals running around. That's what it is. That's bunch America of, for you. A bunch of wild animals. And it's like just the people from the third world, they have stronger family they ties because they bond together more. Or like the Mexicans. The Mexicans has got more sense than most Americans because they 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 don't uh, they don't be getting divorces and shit. They get, you know, well I'm sure they do. But they probably stay together. Yeah, they they stick together more, even though they into all kind of wickedness still. A little bit. They well, got they still got more sense on that level. Didn't you separate from your girl or? That bitch, that wasn't my choice. I mean, you can't do nothing about it. But a bitch don't want to. Oh, the name Black Wall Street was adapted from what was the racially segregated Greenwood neighborhood of Tulsa, Oklahoma, during the oil boom of the 1920s. 1920s. Greenwood was home to several prominent black businessmen before the documentary. The black businessmen. Mm -hmm. You don't know, show me one black business in Columbus. I can't show you one, bro. They had a whole damn city. You mean like haircut and barbershop or nothing? That don't count? That's very, it's not, that's rare. Even that is rare. Well, that's a black business. But, but you don't even hardly see that anymore, though. That don't, that, that don't never last. There was and a, usually, they, right, they don't last. They was gone. They had opened up a barbershop by my house, and it, <laughs> she was gone. Because most people want to, you know, cut their own hair or have somebody do a procedure. I can't see making money in a barbershop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cause they'll never last. Cause now they teach people to get jobs. These days, oh, it's all about getting a job, getting a job, instead of starting your own business. That's what you sufficient. Yeah, you're supposed to tell people to start your own business, not to get a job. Get a, get a job. That means you're a slave, pretty much. You working for someone else. So you don't work. Uh, I'm doing work right now. Good. Huh? I'm working right now. You mean doing this? My work. So you you love your work, then. I do love my work. We can do our job. Oh, you don't work either? I do all kind of shit. All kind of odd stuff. You know what I mean? Wait a minute. <laughs> I got so many... With the sin, right? I got so many names for you. I don't know what to call you. What is it? <laughs> sin? What? I got it. CYN? You said sin? You're talking about chin. Chin. All right. That's yeah. in my phone, but... Yeah. I have it. CYN. You can just go by chin? That's all? Yeah, that's it. You know, I might go by my... How you say that again? That Hebrew name? Elijah. Abayor. Uh, oh, Abayor. 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 But Chin. All right. I remember Aaron and Paul, but that's my new name, Abayor. So you don't work either? Yeah, I work. I told you I do all kind of odd stuff. Oh, you don't have a like a regular. Yes, yeah, so I got a regular job. people's job. <laughs> I don't of know. Of course I do, man. <laughs> you gotta work, man. And where's Paul at? He he at work. At a real job. Yeah, at a real job. <laughs> all right. A regular job, all right. I read that. Let me read that thing to you. Though. Black Wall Street. Yeah, Black Wall Street. What happened to Black Wall Street on June 1st, 1921? Black Wall Street, the name fittingly given to one of the most important of all black communities in America. So one of them, there's a lot of them. Right. Like Oklahoma, South Carolina. Even Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. New York, Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, it, West it Virginia. A, yeah, West Virginia. Bombed from the air by mobs of envious whites. That, that was, I mean, come on, man. Uh, motherfuckers riding around in big ass Cadillacs. A white motherfucker see that when he only driving around in some, yeah, yeah, some rusted know. up track. Right, they get mad. They was envious. They was just jealous as fuck, man. But how long was the Wall Street there? 
It would last for uh, quite some time. For years? Yeah, for years. It would last for years. This is hard to believe. Is that right? <laughs> Hell yeah, it's true. It's well documented. All right. They even got uh, pictures. Yeah. Right, videos, yeah. pictures, everything. Videos, pictures, and everything. I mean, back in the day when I was uh, uh, like uh, the early 18, 19, uh, 80s, like 80, 80, 81, 82. Yeah. I remember we used to walk up and down, we used to cut school and we were walking down with Pop Burning, and it was nothing but black businesses, man, flourishing. What? You know what I'm saying? Ain't no black business now. All these Arabs and Africans. And they push them all out. Goddamn, uh, yeah. mostly uh, Hindus. So you don't do it. You don't. You don't include Africans as being black. Hell no. Really? You need, they're not black they, Americans. They, 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 they look down on black people. They talk shit about black people. Black Americans. Yeah. Well, right. yeah. There's two different. Like all black people ain't the same. That's right. Like all white people ain't the same. Just like black people don't have their own businesses. You don't be seeing a whole lot of like Irish businesses. Uh. uh Shit, you really see a lot of Italian shit hardly no more, do you? Except for like a pizza shop or something. That's not even real Italian. They just named it, it gave it an Italian name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, actually, they, they say that Italians do own that casino. They're some gangsters. Oh, the Hollywood <laughs> Casino? Yeah. On paper, it says it's owned by Italians. Burned to the ground by mobs of envious whites. In a period spanning 30 to 12 hours, a once thriving black business district in northern Tulsa lay smoldering. A model community destroyed in a major African-American economic movement resounding diffused. The night carnage left some 3,000 African-Americans dead. 3,000 dead? That's like a war. Now, you want to talk about terrorists. That's some terrorists. We're, we're at the home of terrorists, you know? That sounds like worse than uh, Iraq right there. Right, right, right. 3,000 dead? 3,000 dead. African Americans dead and over 600 successful businesses lost. In Oklahoma. Just Oklahoma alone. This is just what I'm reading about Oklahoma. You know, alone. <laughs> 600 businesses. Now, come on, man. Ain't 600 businesses on high street. Yeah. You know? That's probably a real nice city, too. Yeah, it was probably real. Beautiful. It was probably peaceful. Yeah. I guarantee it was peaceful. There wasn't thugs walking. You saw these black kids these days, they're all wild animals. They look like hyenas. They wasn't acting like that back then, man. Because if they would have acted stupid like that, someone would came out and put their ass in check. Remember, that was during the Depression years. Yep. Oh, yeah. That was before the Depression. Well, well yeah, that the whole Depression thing. lasted for a minute. Yeah, it lasted for a long time. Right. Um, this is close. Among these were 21 churches. 21 restaurants, 300 grocery, 30 even, grocery stores. It is burning down churches. <laughs> right, right. Uh, 30 grocery stores and two movie theaters, 21 restaurants, um, plus a hospital, a bank, a post office, library, schools, law offices, a hat, law offices, damn. Um, a half dozen private airplanes, Damn, they had, damn, they had, <laughs> damn, they had private airplanes had back then? So wait, so you had brothers, man. These are being the, uh, brothers running um, shit. My, my grandfather, my, my mom's dad, uh -huh. they say he was the first black man in um in Mississippi to have a Cadillac. Yep. Really? Yep. Yep. So you're saying these black businesses basically had mostly black customers? Well, they probably had white well, that's, customers too. Well, back in them days, that's how it was. Back in them days, you had Chinatown, you had the Italian, had their own spot. Uh, the Jews you had their own spot because back in them days everybody hated Jews. Okay, before World War II, nobody liked Jews. Don't you know when Major League Baseball first started, no Jews were allowed. Because everybody knew there was a bunch of devils. You know, there, there was no there, you couldn't trust them. They was the slimiest, sneakiest people on the planet. Now, ever since post World War II, uh, if you say anything bad about a so-called Jew, oh, you're an anti-Semite. You're anti-Semitic. But back before that, everybody was anti-Semitic. How the fuck can we be anti-Semitic when we are Semitic? Yeah, well, they're not even the real Jews anymore. You know what I'm saying? We're all Semitic. Oh. What does Semitic mean? It's just a lie. It means you... One of the sons of Noah? It means you descend from Shem, the right. son of Noah. Like the Israelites do. When you read the Bible, the Bible tells you the Israelites descend from Shem. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Plus a whole all, a bunch of other nations descend from Shem, like the Arabs. Right. Yeah. But he separated all the nations, the Lord himself. Okay, it says um, airplanes and even bus systems were As could have been expected, the imputed genius behind the genius behind it all was the infamous Ku Klux Klan working in the sort of breaking city officials. The Ku Klux Klan? And that's just a euphemism. That's for another word for a Democratic Party. <laughs> <laughs> and look, it says working in consent with ranking city officials and many other cities. Because don't you know, back in them days too, like I know po politics is bullshit. But back in them times, almost all black people were Republicans, they're like diehard Republicans. You know what I'm saying? But the devil got up in there, fucked their minds up, fucked up their family, bombed their towns. <laughs> you should see these pictures too. Oh, the glasses, man. The best description of Black Wall Street, or Little Africa, as is what's also known. Little Africa. Right. Would be compared. Yeah, one nothing in Africa that nice. Right. Would be <laughs> to compare it to a mini Beverly Hills. And then it's really nice, man. It's a real peaceful place, you know what I'm saying? It was the golden door of the black community during the early 1900s. And it proved that African Americans could create a successful infrastructure that what, what Black Wall Street was all about. Yeah, that's, that's, that's ancient history now, though. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just like a dream, like it never happened. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. This is what's bad right here. The dollar circulated 36 to 100 times sometimes taking a year for currency to leave the community so they kept all the money in the hood you know you kept growing kept growing but now nowadays people don't do that even if there was a black business in the neighborhood nobody's gonna go there they're gonna go to walmart and give all their money to walmart buy some cheap chinese junk that's what i would do that's retarded well, that's all that's only choice we have now yeah but actually it was like me personally like anytime I can, I go to a, I, I go to a flea markets to get my flea shit. Markets, I right. shop at flea markets. Oh, like I, Craigslist. I get, the Mexicans get my money. Craigslist. Yeah, Craigslist. Uh, used people. I mean, people go buy. I buy shit from used, used shit, man. I, 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 I don't. No use, I, have no use for nothing new. Really? I only go to Walmart unless I really have to. If I can avoid going to Walmart, I don't go there. Every time I go there, they harass me. You say the Mexicans get your money. Yeah, you gotta get what my money. money. That's right. It's a little bit. It, it ain't work. much, but it, it, that's right. But it, that's me. I don't get that much money. So the little money I do get, I spend it wisely. And I get, I go out to the West Side Flea Market. You know what hey, I'm saying? I don't spend money at all, though. Really? If, if, the only thing I spend money on is food, man, and gas. All right. Because I, I thought you had I don't want nothing. Time. I don't want nothing. Saw me a Kroger? Or just what Kroger? You just walking into it with your two uh, little boys and you. Should, Told me this can of right. soup Who was had the do? devil's marking on it. Oh, I remember. I remember. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. It did have the it had six 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 on it. I didn't see it. Barcode. Every every barcode has six 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 on it. Right here. All right. Um, Kroger, barcode. What was that at? The, the Kroger campus? Oh, I mean the yeah. campus Kroger. Right Kroger. There. You yeah. Know that? yeah, yeah. See, I barcode, remember, see yeah. every barcode got six six six. That's every barcode. Got six 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 on. So get that on really? camera if you can. I don't know if that can pick that up. The barcode six six six. Yeah, any barcode you gonna pick up? Cause look at the end. The, the end number. When you see two bars together like that in barcode language, them two little bars is the number six. So that's the six. There's a six right there, and there's a six on the end. Almost all, almost all barcodes have six six six. That's on a it. nice camera. I like our camera. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I, I, I got me one to upgrade now. Oh, now that's just outdated. <laughs> and, and, and it is. Too. We need to go HD. It, it makes me want to do something to upgrade. You know, actually, that's what I'm going to do in here. Go somewhere and price the camera. So, you know, because I want a camera, man. I want to get a, a tripod. We should be like these uh, churches and shit. Start begging for money. Right. Like, give me all your money. Um, let me read this again. This, this is going to go into something that's going to bug you out. The dollar circulated 36 to 100 times. Sometimes taking a year for the currency to leave the community. Now a dollar leaves the black community in 15 minutes. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it, 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 almost a year to now 15 minutes. 15 minutes. As soon as they got that shit, it's it burning a hole in their pocket. <laughs> like I gotta make sure this goes straight to the wall. Oh, you remember that uh, that the Dave Chappelle episode? 
when da Dave there was a you never watched Dave Chappelle's show they had an episode when they was pretending that black people got reparations for slavery and then as soon as they, they got the reparations they was giving all their money back to the white man and then they was on the news saying huh these niggers they, so they give, them, give them reparations and they're giving all their money right back to us <laughs> <laughs> you remember that shit <laughs> nah yeah, I didn't see that one it was some funny shit. Don't that's look why, that one up. That's why Dave Chappelle was so popular, man. One motherfucker went and bought a whole truckload of Newports. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got enough new posts to last me and my family for the rest of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm rich, bitch. Everybody went and bought a music label. Oh, yeah. They said it was a record number of uh, record labels opening. <laughs> and the, 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 oh, yeah. This Cadillac stock shot through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, K KFC. They said KFC merged with FUBU. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That was some funny KFC shit, man. KFC merged with FUBU. That shit was some funny shit, man. That, that, yeah, that day I remember that clothing line, shit, too. <laughs> That's why they had to get him out of there. Yeah, yeah, they had to. And it was too much truth in there. Even though that shit was comedy. Check this out. This is Ecclesiastes uh, 13 oh, and 14. And oh, yeah. Look, you know niggers in the Bible, right? <laughs> the word niggers in the Bible. You mean Negro? No, nigger. Nigger. Niggered. I didn't know that. Check it out. Ecclesiastes 14 and 3. Riches are not common for a nigger. Re read that again. Ecclesiastes 14 and 3. Riches are not calmly for a nigger. Not calmly means no, good. No, nigger. There's a D on that. Well, it is. That that's, right that's a nigger. It's not the same thing. It's the same it's thing. N-I-G-G-A-R-D. Well, this is 1611. People spoke a little differently back in them well, days. Well, I was referring to Negro. They used that's to different. say thou instead of you. Niggerly. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah nigger. nigger. Well, well, read it again. Niggers. Explains it, though. Read right. it one more time. Now, listen to what it's saying. Riches are not calmly for a nigger. What does that mean? Okay. And what should an envious man do with money? So see, right. that's why we see this nigga get money, man. They do stupid shit with it. Niggerly yeah. means stingy or something, known as selfishly or something. Well, like that, that. I mean, that's what it is, though. Yeah, I mean, right. it, it says riches are not commonly for a nigger. I mean, like like Dave Chappelle should said. He said he should have never gave them niggers money. Yeah. Yeah. You remember why he said that? Yeah. Well, what he, no, he said, oh, he said that uh, on that. Uh, but that. he didn't realize what he was saying. That it was so true, though. Yeah. He just turned into a joke, which he probably doesn't know. Oh, uh, he said that about uh, Eddie Murphy, wasn't it? Yep, yep. yep he said yep. that to Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Oh, when he was playing Rick James, wasn't it? Right, right. <laughs> that, that goes right back to that. Though. It's just more proof. You can't give these fools money. What are they gonna do with their money? Are they, are they gonna go help? Uh, help. Community, please, please. fuck the community. Please. They gonna go buy some rims. Mm -hmm. They gonna buy rims. They gonna buy the biggest bag of weed oh, they ever had oh, in their oh, life. Oh, they gonna enough to get any hard drugs to flip it. Yep. What they call flipping. So yeah. they can, and then they're not even gonna flip it right. They are gonna end up smoking most of it. Mm -hmm. I, I know how they do it. What's wrong with getting buying weed? Yeah, but because people always think they're gonna be drug dealers when they're not. <laughs> All right. Everybody wanna be a goddamn drug dealer. And I would say 90% of drug dealers make no money. They go, in the, they go in the hole, and they don't have any discipline. Well, you're not supposed to sell drugs in the first place. Yeah. They, don't, they don't know shit about business. They don't, they don't even know how to do basic math, and they think they're going to go into business being a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? They, you they, got to know basic math, something. Yeah, I mean, people are retarded, man. They just want to be cool. I'm the, I'm the one with all the drugs. And yeah, that's why your ass got robbed. You know That's why you got shot and beat someone uh -oh. beat the shit out of you. I thought that was y'all drive by. <laughs> 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 it actually is a study that came out this is years a few years ago. I was watching the show. They did a, they broke it down on the average crack dealer makes less than minimum wage, bro. You know what I'm saying? Less than minimum they they spending all day hustling, you know what I'm saying? Stand on the corner, stand on the clock. Yeah, you know, that's gotta be rough, man. Like the people, you know. Nah, that's they, they love it, man. They wake up looking forward to going to the block. I it, doubt that. You know, God, they talk about it. They make it in the, you hear it in the music, man. Very few of them actually make the money, you know? But they pleased with that $5, 10 $20 a day they make, man. They pleased with that. As long as they can go buy a sack with it. Because you, you can't you know? even, like when you're selling weed, I mean, I've sold weed before. You can't even make money selling that shit, man. You can if you know what you're doing. Yeah, man, maybe. But look, I mean, I know a little bit about business. And I know the golden rule, at least to me in business, is if you can't at least double your money, you're wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? 
Because you buy a bag of weed, you get an ounce for how much they can sell an ounce for. Anywhere from 100 to 150. If you, you, can't, you can't double profit your money on that unless you're charging crazy prices. You can't double your money. Hell no. Only if you like you sell it. Unless you're growing it. You, you got to grow it. You got to grow it yourself. Ain't nobody in the hood growing weed. And they surely ain't growing no uh, cocoa plants in the basement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wonder who's growing all that. You right, can't grow right. it indoors. I know people grow indoors though. Yeah, I mean, some people do. I mean, some people accept. Most people don't make no money selling drugs. No, you, you're wrong. People who grow it, they can make money. Well, yeah, but that's it. Dollars. But it's not even worth it. Well, I'm just saying, people, they're retarded. They don't, they don't know nothing about making money. Because the scripture just said, riches are not comely for a nigger. Huh? That's in the Bible. It says for niggardly people. It doesn't say nigger. Well, well, well actually, well, well, black people aren't the only niggers on the earth. Okay? Right. There are many niggers. Okay? Right. We see them all the time. All right. Different shapes, sizes, and colors. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all type of flavors. Niggers. Really? You know? Really? So this is your work. You only work one day a week? You guys only work one day a week? Man, I'll do this we'll nonstop. Hey, did you guys go to the Comfest and do this? We, work every day. Oh, we, didn't go to, we didn't go this year, actually. Really? I, I, I couldn't put in my stomach to look at those fast ass crowds. I know, the, the gay fest was, was right before that, it was pretty bad. Yeah, was oh, terrible. man. They had condoms all over the street. Yeah. Oh, good. come on. That's like that's fucking ridiculous. I couldn't stomach it, man. I should have went out there. I couldn't even get my head right to go to the great jazz and blues. That's, that's some bugged out shit. Really? What? Right. So they had the condoms all over the street. Jams with the Rift Fest. Well, the Rift Fest ain't nothing but the Pork Fest. It's all smell all that shit. Got a bunch of pork ribs all over the damn place. Oh, man. No, the only gays need to keep it behind closed doors. They're, I mean, not, it's coming public out, display man. is too much for children. It's, it's getting worse and worse. Yeah. That's like, what they try and do. The children are next. Next they, is they try and get the kids to be faggots. Pedophilia is going to be legal next. Yep. I won't be surprised. Next flight. There's no crime. That's what they're gonna say. But you got people out there that already teach that. They, they, people, they open about it. They're like, well, pedophilia, that's not a crime. And when, when the child, are, the child consents, it's okay. But you have to ask, I mean, nature allows you to have sex with a child. What's wrong with it? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I can understand laws that say you gotta be 18, but well, see, that's what they take it too far, though. Because, actually, it'd be okay to, you know, it's okay to be a faggot in America, right? You can be a faggot, you can get your dick chopped off, you can, uh, you can kiss another man walking down the street, a man can wear a dress, you know what I'm saying? But if, if I want to marry a 16-year-old woman, that's a crime. In some states. In all states or 14 states? 14 year old. Well, yeah, year it old. depends on the state, yeah. So fine ass 14 year old. Yeah, fine ass 14. Four, yeah, these little girls by 14, they be looking good as hell, looking man. Looking delicious. Looking, yeah, it's looking real. delicious, man. <laughs> real, man. But America got shit all, because a woman, see, you ain't supposed to be having sex with little eight year old girls. I, that's disgusting. That's just too damn young. That's too goddamn young, obviously. That's only a sick, not twisted even, mother. Even, right, not even physically developed yet. Yeah, the only a sick, twisted person will go up and have sex with a little girl. But we know what a woman is. When a woman's fully developed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I knew this little, uh, this little Irish girl that stayed up in Western with a bad white girl, man. And I, I was fucking with her when she was 16. I was like 25 when I was Because she was an Irish? Yeah, an Irish girl, you know. And uh, she told me her grandfather told her how to do rose house when she was like eight years old. Oh, man, her <laughs> grandfather. Her grandfather. That's fucked up, man. She told me her grandfather told her how to suck dick when she was eight years old. You know what I'm saying? Mom and dad found out about it. I heard that shit all the time. They didn't man. care. They don't care. They didn't care. That was dressed grandpa. They, they grandpa probably do just <laughs> old. The grandpa just old. Yeah, you know what I mean? I've heard bitches say the same shit to yeah. me, man. They say similar shit. Yeah. Talking about how the grandpa molested them. Shit, I just fucked with a girl that was two time all state basketball up in Lorraine, Cleveland. Her dad was raping her. Really? Her dad was raping her. And her, she was taking that frustration and anger out on the basketball court. She was two time all state. Cleveland State, to, just to this, to this day, she's still holding records at Cleveland State University. Yeah. So she turned lesbian? Nah, she all fucked up in the head now. But she still had her sex up. She all fucked up. Yeah, she like this me. I ain't gonna put a name out there. That's what. 
cool bitch too, man. I was fucking shit on her. And I used to wonder, man, every time I used to go up there to get her, her dad was always like, you can't come in my house. You know, I don't want you around here. I didn't find out until like a month later that, you know. That was going on. That was going on because the mom sat me down. We went to a restaurant, her, me, her, and her mom. And it was all, it was all coming out. I love him, he's still my husband, you know, I love him. And I want you to forgive him in your heart. Talk that Christian bullshit. Jesus loves him still. Jesus don't love no way like that, man. He, you know, he kills people like that. Yeah. And this was a brother, a black motherfucker. <laughs> he's black. Raping the shit out of his daughter, man. The wife catch him. And she like, she was like. Biological she, daughter? Real daughter, yeah. I mean, you look at them, they look just alike. I can understand stepfathers. It was step real dad, but that's real it. dad. You know, real dad. Man. Real daughter. That's some stuff. Dude, that's some sick shit, man. That's how they do it. That's out some here. sick shit, man. <laughs> and the dad and the mom like knew it, cause I guess she would notice that she he, when he wanted her, she he'd be looking at her, and you know, you know. Now nah, you're making me sick, man. And then she would set him up and leave, and then she, he would get her, and then she'd come in and catch her. These women out here are wicked as can be, man. They the most evilest creatures on the face my of the My brother, earth. one of my older brothers, was raping my niece when she was two and three years old. His and got caught. His daughter. Nah, my, his, his niece. My sister's the uh, child. You know, he was raping her and he caught him several times. And they still never called the police on this piece of shit, son of a bitch, man. They never even give a fuck about to get this, get this nigga out the house, man. That was your brother or brother My brother, my real blood brother, man. All right. you said it was he was raping sister. my little niece when she was two and three years old. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like and she all fucked up to this day, to this day, man. She like she probably forgot about a lot of it though, but it's a fucked up world we live in, man. They, they you know, I don't even want that motherfucker. I don't even speak to him if I was this scene, man. I don't even acknowledge him as family or nothing, man. Like that, that he was kidnapper. A piece of shit. He's like in Cleveland with them three girls, that man, the Hispanic dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his family disowned him. They need to. I used to get sick around my brother. When he came in the room, it was just spirits was clashing. I, I I still remember to this day as a kid, I used to physically get sick when I was around him. I couldn't be around him. I couldn't eat around him. Nothing, man. I just couldn't be around him. It was all, and even like before that shit happened, man, I was an adult and I still couldn't be around him. I just couldn't be around him. He evil. He spewed, he spewed evil. You can smell it. You can look at him and see that's a, that's a nigga. He'll rape your ass. <laughs> you know, he one of prison motherfuckers now. In and out of prisons and shit. Oh, yeah. So you know he making love to some motherfucking, uh, some nigga up in there. He probably making see that he probably got a cause he a fighter, man. He a mean motherfucker, man. He probably raped all kind of niggas in the prison. A piece of shit. Oh, yeah. I hope I pray to God that all that the most high do do something do something to him, man. He the niggas like that don't he don't supposed to he don't supposed to have people like that on the streets, man. He's supposed to kill him. He's supposed to right. They supposed to they deserve he deserved death, man. Like all this prison. Yeah, my mom and dad took they lift him up. Like he still it's my son. I love my son. He's still like all these people that got in these prisons, they ain't supposed to lock people up for 20 years, then let them out like he's rehabilitated. You know what I mean? He's taxes, take taking money, he's taxing, 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 taxing no. shit like that. The only way you can uh, purify someone, you just gotta put him to death, man. Yeah. If someone rapes like a little girl, you just gotta kill him. Ain't no locking him up. You gotta kill that motherfucker, man. That's, I kill him, That's man. what it says in the Bible. You supposed to kill a faggot, you gonna kill child molesters. If, actually, if you're a drug dealer, you know, you, all, most people in the prisons is on uh, in there for drug dealing. Really? The Bible says you're just supposed to put a drug dealer to death. Just, just kill him. Just get, just get him out of the way. So when you go That's how you clean up the community. Yeah, so the <laughs> shut down on us. So then we just... Uh, yeah, let me get back to this article on Black, Black Wall Street, bro. Really um, check this out. Um, I bet there weren't no faggots walking around on Black Wall Street. Oh, hell no. Hell no. You know why? I guarantee you... They was all following the Bible. At least, you know, they wasn't, obviously they wasn't doing everything right because the Lord jacked the asses up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which means he jacked them up. Well, the Lord, it, ultimately it was the Lord that was responsible for that Black Wall Street getting destroyed. That's part of the curses. Here, let me get that here. That's part of the curses, man. When you say Wall Street, it wasn't like the real Wall Street. Well, they, they had investors from all over, all well, over the well, world. Well, they had their they, just in their local community. They invested with each other. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. I believe. I can believe they, that they, more they, now. Well, yeah. Actually, they actually did have their own stock exchange. 
I believe. They had their own. Like Wall yeah. Street. That's why, yeah, they actually had their own stock exchange. Yeah, we can tell that wasn't going to last in. Cause yeah, you know what the stock exchange yeah, you know is all about, right? The, shit up there the stock exchange, all the stock exchange is supposed to be is, uh, I got I got a business. Now, I'm going to ask you guys for help. You help invest with me so we can all make money together. That's what a stock exchange is, you know? Like just investing your money into someone else's cause to help right. so you can make money. You ain't gonna see no shit like that in the black neighborhoods now. Look at the black neighborhoods and you've been on the south side lately? Parsons. Shit is scary. No, no, is it? No, it was Parsons. scary five years ago. Parsons ain't shit go down Whittier. Go down uh Lockbourne is pretty bad. Yeah, Lockbourne. Oh, oh Lockbourne is old fashioned, ain't it? Right by Whittier, I think is the worst. It looked like a jungle out there. So you don't live down there no more? I'm surprised they ain't got lions and shit. You don't live down there anymore? No, I moved out. we I just moved out east. Check this out. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments um, and his statutes, which See, I command thee. As soon as he was reading that scripture, he said, You gotta. The dude just said the Bible was, was bullshit. As soon as he was reading, we gotta keep his commandments. That damn demon just told us the Bible was bullshit. <laughs> Dory, man. Did he keep walking? Yeah. He, ain't got, he ain't got shit to say. Look at him. He's a big piece of shit. <laughs> My fault. Just read that again. That dude. That dude fucked it up. Right. Fucking asshole. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all His commandments. All His commandments. It's all in the Bible. You know? And His statutes, which I have commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses. So if you don't do what the Lord said to do, then you keep His commandments. Not being a damn adulterer, being an adulterer, being a faggot, eating pork, you know what I mean? Not keeping the Sabbath, you know, keep going. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed you gonna be in the city. Well, how are black people looking in the city? They're cursed. <laughs> you, I mean, you like can't, a motherfucker. No, people scared to even go to a black neighborhood. It, just, it, it looks scary. I can understand that, man. Shit. I'm scared myself. It is scary. You should be scared walking through the neighborhood. Shit, every last house is boarded up. Got crack houses everywhere. This is every last house. The goddamn grass is this fucking high. Goblins and trolls. Yeah, trash every fucking where. Trash is flying in the wind everywhere. Rodents, rats, yeah, rats and roaches. And everybody's house is infested with roaches. Diseases. STDs. <laughs> uh, you got hoes walking down the street. I can walk. I'm not going to do it. But I could drive down any street. Livingston, Whittier, Main Street. And on my way home, every time I go down Main Street, I see hoes left and right on the corner. Everywhere. This is America. The land of the free. The land of the break. Even today you see no hoes. I don't even see no hoes that much anymore. So that's, so that's what people fight for. everywhere. Maybe out on a, a lot of them are I just told you. Broad. A lot of them you oh. see hoes, but you don't see you don't see a hoe. You see a young girl now. Yeah. These young girls have found out I can make me some extra money now. Yep. But all I gotta do is suck a dick real quick. I think I that can make me 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars. There's right? more hoes now than there ever was. Well, it, it, it's ridiculous. You have that when you go down Livingston, it's right there in Livingston, from that little stretch from Livingston, from you know what I'm talking yeah, about. I'm talking about. Right, go down Livingston. You see as many as if you need to go get some pussy. We'll get you a little ten dollars. They say ten and get you in. We'll go down Livingston, and you can go find you. They be some fine hoes too. Man, I told you, young girls now, man. Young girls, man. They be hot too, boy. But they don't, you know, they don't got the these young girls don't got sense like an older bitch. Older bitch go get a sixteen. Over yeah. eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, they be younger than that. Young, they be young ass. My, si younger my, my sister was be a prostitute when she was fourteen. Wow. Really? My, my sister got AIDS. Mm. Yeah. She has, she has motherfucking, well, she got some shit, yeah. <laughs> what? What's so funny? She got something besides AIDS? Yeah. Well, I With mean. Versus reward. It's funny to me. Is well, she probably got HIV. I don't know if she got AIDS yet. It takes a second for the AIDS to kick in, I guess. But she's out there honing it up. She got to get her a fucking smoking crack and shit. Really? So a lot of these bitches you see, you see, you see hoes, you just ain't recognize them as hoes. You walk down the street and you see bitches just 
<laughs> what is that? <laughs> they did. They, they, they be sniffing all kind of shit. They were watching sniff the coke walking down the street. You can watch them bitches sniffing pills. They do it walking right down the street. You see, they have a big old pile of shit sniffing right up. These bitches is bold. Because a lot of times they, they suck a dick just for a little rock or something, a little powder. And then, and, and, you know, they just like, bitch, suck my dick, I'll give you this little, uh, little, uh, little 20 sack powder or whatever. Bitch, just sniff it right up on the spot. Because she can't wait till she get home. Well, especially if you got some Percocets or some Oxycontins or something. Oh, that's easy. You're going to find out if it's real already, huh? You're going to sniff it right away. They don't even give a fuck. Well, hopefully that's good. Hopefully it's, it's some Comet or some, you know, she sniffed <laughs> that Comet, some Ajax. <laughs> right. Oh, they yeah. do that. You know, they cut Coke with Ajax and Comet and shit, right? That's why they caught on to that because they taste it now. Yeah. They taste it on their tongue first. That still happens, though, but... They sell fake, oh, fake, uh, fake dope all the time. Fake dope? I mean, fake, uh, well, they call it pills and stuff? Yeah. They call it fan. <laughs> Fact, that's called, that's a Run around like a goddamn fairy. Yeah, right. Fucking pixie. Yeah, so that's your joint that's horrible at like at night on the weekends. It's terrible. You wouldn't like it at all. I already know about this. Short North is just right down the street. They see it all the time right here. Yeah, Short North, that is the faggot central, man. That shit is scary down there. Oh, my fault. Go ahead with it. Okay. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed you're going to be in the field, meaning the field's where you work, your job. Okay? Just like, well, back in the day, everybody was farmers. But now, everybody works in the dam. You know, you can't go to a job. There ain't no farmers no more. <laughs> All the farms are owned by damn Monsanto. Oh, yeah. They didn't, look, they didn't look white though. They, they looked, looked weird, didn't they? They look a little different. They look like creepy. a freak bunch of weirdos. Yeah. Them Edomites. There's some Edomites for them. straight Edomites. They all walking like they got a dick stuck up their ass. Yeah, those will look like regular Caucasians. Right. 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 Edomites. Um, Cursed shalt thou be thy basket in thy store. Look at this big black bitch over here with this bag. My fault, I keep cutting you off, man. I gotta look at this real quick. I just, I just had it. That is a weird couple right there. You see that? You got that big, Awkward. big fat black bitch with a big, tall, skinny Edomite. You can't put him up on my camera. You said, big fat man. black Come bitch on. with a tall, skinny Edomite. You can't even see him now. Look at that. She's just a kind of couple is that. She didn't ask to be that way, man. Why are you cutting her down, man? That doesn't even make any sense. What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Well, people can say the same thing about you two. Huh? That's part of that. They actually they do say all kind of shit about it. Oh, really? They do. <laughs> all right. <laughs> shit. But you say that's it's not. You said it's not right. It's not natural. It's, it don't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. It goes against See, all human beings being together. You know. Oh yeah. I'll go ahead with that. Let's that. So you can worry about that's part of the curses. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Meaning, yeah, it, it, any food you save up, you ain't gonna have no food. You ain't gonna have no food store, dude. This big dumbass out here begging and shit. Yeah, because he his store is cursed. He's cursed. <laughs> that dude's probably an Israelite right there. Yeah, you can tell by that. He's mean as hell looking. He just look degenerate. <laughs> You can tell an Israelite by how degenerate he is. Got a stupid look on his face. Yeah. Does he look dumb as hell? Look like a piece of shit. That's our people, pieces of shits. That's what our people, you mean white people? The Israelites. The Lord's people are a bunch of fucking assholes. Whether they look like, whether they got brown skin or not. You know, the leopard's gone. They still some dumb. They all stupid in their own unique fucking way. <laughs> they, do. they all got their own special form of wickedness. <laughs> like Esau, yeah, he ain't, they ain't special. They ain't nothing special about Esau. 
but in, in a wicked ass Israelite, he had a unique form of wickedness about him, you know? <laughs> oh, he's coming over here too. Oh man, let's go ahead. Oh, so you, you teach your children this? You damn right, I teach my children the Bible. Oh, so you, you homeschool them this? You better teach yeah, his not, kids They gotta go to Columbus Public Schools. Or they go to regular schools. Yeah, because right. their baby mama's a bitch and a whore. So, yeah, you gotta do what the state says. Hey, you guys, spare money for this bus? I ain't got no money, bro. We got Why? Some... <laughs> I'm poor as fuck. What's wrong with you church people and fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, motherfucker. <laughs>